Am I the asshole? For refusing to help my neighbor and her two young children when their wipers were frozen? I live in a major city in Ontario, Canada. I live in a small subdivision and have five neighbors total on my street. For the past few years during the winter when we're getting a lot of snow or a bad storms, as I'm leaving for my overnight shift at around 8-9 p.m. I'll put my wife's windshield wipers up on her car and do a quick walk around to my other five neighbors and put their windshield wipers up on their cars obviously not if they're outside or something, but if it looks like they're in for the night. Many of them forget to do this, as many of them have children and it typically slips their mind, and their wipers will be frozen to their car in the morning. It's just something nice I like to do to look out for my neighbors. They're all always grateful of this and thank me for it. Many of them started doing it too and there will be nights where I'll forget to put mine and my wife's up, and in the morning one of the neighbors has done it for us. Anyway recently one of our neighbors moved and a new family moved in as of last week. It's a young couple and their two young children. The other night I was leaving for my overnight shift at around 9 p.m. It was snowing really heavy and we were supposed to be getting almost 30 centimeters of snow and it was freezing out. So I put my wife's wipers up and do my usual quick walk around to the other neighbors. I was hesitant when I reached my new neighbor's house, as I've only introduced myself once, but did it anyway. As I was putting the second wiper up on their pickup truck the husband came charging out of his front door yelling hey what the fck are you doing to my truck. I tried to explain to him I was just putting his wipers up to help him. He continued to scream at me to get the hell off my property and don't touch my shit again. The wife then came out and started yelling at me too. I apologized and started walking away. Some of my other neighbors heard the commotion and came outside to see what was happening. They tried explaining to him too that it's just something we do, both of them wasn't having it. Fast forward to this morning, I'm arriving home from my overnight shift and as I'm walking in I see the wife of this couple struggling outside to break the ice off the windshield wipers of the truck. Guess she was trying to take her kids to school and the wipers were frozen solid on the car. She sees me and yells over hey there do you mind giving me a hand please? I look over to her and yell back no sorry, thought I was to never touch your shit again mom and walked back inside. She yelled back at me wow ah. Told my wife about this, she thinks I should have helped her because she was just trying to get her kids to school. I disagree as I was just following what they told me. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. I understand if they just saw a random person touching their vehicle and freaking out. But once you explained and the neighbors also explained to clear up misunderstanding, they really should have apologized. They got what they deserved with frozen wipers in the morning. Not the asshole the fact that she can cuss you out the night before and then turn around and expect you to help when you already tried is baffling. Info where did they move from? Help them again? Why? So they can berate you again? No thank you. It would be different, possibly, if they had listened when you tried explaining, or if they had apologized before this incident. They didn't tow, and you are in no way obligated to help. Hell, if you do, they'd likely find some way to yell at you about that too. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Bad karma's a bitch. She just found out what happens when you bite a helpful hand. Not the asshole. She and her husband both continued to scream at you even after you and the other neighbors explained what you were doing for them. They should apologize for their behavior, otherwise their don't touch our shit demand should be followed. Not the asshole. Absolutely you are not the asshole. You tried rationally explain what you were doing, so did your neighbors, they cussed you out and told you to get off the property. They also told you not to touch their property. After that she has the nerve to ask you for help? No your wife is wrong. This was not your problem to deal with this was a consequence of their own behavior. Not the asshole. No one is entitled to your help, especially when she s treated you like garbage before. Don't e bite the hand that feeds you, so to say. Not the asshole, you tried to be nice but they cussed you. 
Had they told you to just not touch their car that wools be different, but they made sure to yell and cuss and make a scene. They shouldn't expect any neighborhood interactions lol. Not the asshole fellow Canadian here Manitoba. I would very grateful to have a neighbor like you. They decided to be nasty and swear at you, you are under no obligation to help them out without a huge apology first. Not the asshole the audacity of her to ask for your help. Steer well clear of that family and tell your wife to do the same. Not the asshole they made it pretty clear they didn't want your help. Not the asshole. I could understand the initial shock of seeing an almost stranger out at night touching my vehicle, but after you explained and they were still ours then at that point they've made their bed, you just let them lie in it. For what it's worth I share a driveway with my neighbor and every snowfall it's practically a race for us to get out there and shovel the whole thing first, just a Canadian thing I guess, shame your neighbors can't read the room street. Not the asshole. They freaked out when you tried to help. They can deal with that on their own. Not the asshole. You tried to help them avoid the situation and even when they understood you were trying to help they doubled down on being rude. In the morning she asked for help and you declined to do so. That doesn't make you the asshole. Nope no way no how not the asshole. And lol it would have been so hard for me to not just crack up hysterically in her face. They don't get to be completely rude and unreasonable to you over something so trivial and then expect you to help them out after. Let her learn her lesson the hard way. Not the asshole. I can respect that they were maybe thrown off by you initially trying to put their wipers up, but there was no reason for either them to come at you so aggressively. Her lack of planning does not constitute an emergency on your part. If she's been around snow and lived in Canada for any amount of time, I guess she is familiar with what the weather is like and should have planned accordingly. Not the asshole. People play the jackass game, they can then be expected to be treated like one. Not the asshole don't ever help them with anything. Not the asshole never help them, you can be injured or sued by them if something breaks. Not the asshole wow karma didn't wait around to visit this one huh? Lol. I had a neighbor who was originally from the deep south, they had no idea about the wiper thing and came out one day in a panic thinking cars were being vandalized. I explained what was going on and you could see the wheels turning. She just had no idea that was a thing, but appreciated the new info and started putting her wipers up as well. So, not the asshole. Not the asshole they were incredibly rude and hateful about it when you were trying to help them. I understand being surprised and shocked, but they swore at you. Yep. You're just doing what they told you. Not the asshole. I wouldn't want to ever touch anything of theirs. Odds are a new set of wipers would suddenly be your responsibility as they tore from being scraped off the frozen windshield. Some folks are just better left alone. They certainly acted as if they fit that mold, and would have to prove otherwise before any interaction that a potential conflict was to happen. Not the asshole. She has a perfectly asshole husband that can take care of it, 